Hi right, guys, Blade Show 2017. I'm here with Scott from Miller Brothers Blades. Um, I saw these guys a couple years ago, I think two years ago, batonic steel, and I was like, okay, we gotta check it out. So we talked a little bit then, and I've got a video, which I'll put a link to it at the end of this video, kind of an overview of some of their blades. We're gonna talk about the fixed blades in a minute, but they have a folder out now, so I want you to hear about that. This thing is monstrous like the rest of the blades, so give us the rundown on what we got here. Yeah, this is our uh, new T1 folder, my brother Tim, did all the design work on it. It's a uh, quarter inch thick Z-Wear blade, quarter inch thick titanium scales. Um, it's got a steel lock bar insert with an over travel, 5 16 pivot. It locks up in two places, um, right here, and then also on the internal uh, lock stop pin back there. Uh, it's one of the features here, it's got a lockout pin for kind of transforming it into a fixed blade there. Also then close it up, use the same hole, and it locks it in the lock position. And you got pin storage back here. This one's got a pocket clip here, technically on the left side. We thought it kind of fit your hand better, but it may be offered with two pocket clips. We'll have to see. We're hoping to get this in uh, made in limited numbers later this year maybe you know six to twelve at a time and possibly maybe some different configurations with this uh, pommel on the back also maybe you know skull crusher they say something like that this is hardened steel z-wear and uh that's that's uh, basically what it is there t1 folder it's been a couple years in the making kind of tweaked it around to where we finally liked it and uh uh, we're kind of happy with it, excited about uh, getting it out there. Have you guys had a chance, I mean, you guys obviously use these blades aggressively. Have you had a chance to beat on that thing and really put the Yeah, down? this one is, uh, we finished these here a couple days before Blade Show. We've had some, basically made some mock-ups of the blade and did some of the same testing that we did before. Um, same way with this lock pin system. Same way, this can hold a lot of weight on this, especially when you lock this out. Just the uh, materials in general make this a really hefty, um, strong kind of design. When you add this lock pin, you basically make it a fixed blade and it can do pretty much the same stuff as our other stuff does. Um, you know, it is a folder, so there's a, there's a few things that it can't, a fixed blade can't do, but um, we're happy with the performance and we wanted to make a, a folding knife that kind of lived up to the reputation of, let's say, our M8 and some of our other blades. So, uh, Talk about Z-Wear a little bit, because that's not a steel that I see a ton of people use it. Yeah, it's a, it's a powdered metal. We're kind of the, some of the only ones that are making the bigger fixed blades, especially in these thicknesses out of it. It's a uh, powdered tool steel, you get great hardness, great wear resistance and durability out of it. Um, you know, a lot of people can compare it to 3B. We kind of think of it as 3V on steroids. 3V is a great steel. We use that on a lot of our uh, knives. Mainly now we've been using just the Z-Wear because we personally prefer it. Things it takes a little bit better edge. Double um, back. So that's kind of that's kind of we 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 personally like it. So that's why we use it. You know, a lot of that stuff is a lot of your knives. Are yeah, tools knives, in knives and swords are in there. We do a little bit of with the Z-Tough too, which is made by Zap Metals as well. Um, but really, we're just out there looking for the good steel, making good knives out of good steel. So if something better comes along, we're going to use that. It's uh, it's just it's basically um, you know, constant improvement. Um, you know. Talk a little bit about these uh, these blades down here. So obviously, you guys are known for your fixed blades. You have yeah, a huge that array. Can give them a, maybe start with those up a little bit smaller, and then give us a little something bigger. Yeah. Um, some of our smaller knives are going to be like this. Uh, I guess on the smaller side, this M30. Um, you know, about a five and a half inch blade. We make some a little bit smaller than this, but um, honestly, this is this is kind of on our side of small compared to especially like this M10. Um, you know, we do a lot of, this is probably one of our most popular knives, the M8, the one that we pounded down through the steel, but we do some custom variations of that, like this one here uh, is a little bit longer blade. Of course, then moving up to the other sides, this is our jungle sword, which is like the largest single hand that we make with the longest blade. Then we move in, into double hand, of course, like the M2, which kind of uh, the blade that got it, it all started. Um, and 
course, there's variations like here. It's one of our compact walkies. Um, this is our M19. And uh, here, this is, we found this is kind of a good, kind of a camp sword, I guess. This is our M4S. Great for taking down trees, chopping wood. Um, just as a, as a note, we just said camp sword. <laughs> yeah, camp sword. <laughs> just to give you a sense See, of that's, that's one of our, I thing. guess, our phrases that we use. Because, yeah. I mean, when I'm going out camping, we make axes and stuff. Personally, I would take this over an axe just because it offers a lot of versatility. Um, I got that much more sharpened area that I can do something with. So, personally, we like this. With maybe a setup like this carrying over the back, which did a video of that um, so yeah we kind of like this stuff that's why we make it that's why we started off our company is making something that we wanted to use we couldn't find a sword like this so we started making that like I said it kind of got it all started and then we just kind of went on from there what kind of knives we wanted to make we made what we wanted to use and we kind of like the bigger thicker stuff it's not for everybody but that's what we like so um, and there seems to be a good response over it goes all the way through so their web, your website is millerbrothersblades.com millerbrothersblades.com um, you know, just Google us, it'll come right up on there too, so sign up for our newsletter, that's the best way to get one of these knives because we've had a lot of demand for them. Sign up for our newsletter and we send out an email when we have stuff available. And just as a note, you were saying before, you had a guy drive down from Canada, yep, two buy, blade show, to buy one, one blade buy one of our swords, yeah. So I mean, that's, that's the sense of like, if you want it, you got to get ahead of the curve to make sure that you are you know, in the loop when they come out. So again, I'll put a link to their website down in the description section. Click that show more tab and I'll send you over to Miller Brothers Blade. Thanks for watching guys, Blade Show 2017.